الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت بالله we want a glimpse on how the salaf al salih ridwan Allah عليهم how they used to view death and how they used to seclude themselves sometimes to be away from the materialism and away from the distractions of the dunya and away from those things which would cause them to no longer remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no longer remember death. Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala and it was said about him that he used to sit at the graves and he was asked that why he did this why do you do that he replied radiallahu ta'ala anhu i sit with a people who remind me of my true abode and if i am absent they will not backbite me ahabatullah this is a fantastic narration on Abi Darda. Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala and who was known for his suhid, his piety, his asceticism, <coughs> in being one who didn't care for much of the of, of, of this life, who didn't indulge in materialism, who loved especially to remove it from his heart that one of the deeds that he used to do was go to the graves. And you can't imagine, many of us don't even visit the graves unless there's a janazah, and some of us don't even go then. And some of the people are frightened to go to the graves because of the reminder that Allah wants us to be reminded with. That our beloved messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us to be reminded of death and to remember death. But many of us avoid that and we're scared of it because we know that we're in wrong and sin and we don't want to leave our desires in the sin. But Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala he used to sit at the graves and then he was asked about it. He said, I sit with the people who remind me of Allah. That's the deceased. He wasn't communicating, not like the people of Shirk. He didn't go to the graves to pray to them and ask them things ask them forgiveness, ask them as a means to bring the, him closer to Allah. But he went to the graves which were silent to be reminded of death, to be reminded of Allah, to be reminded of obedience to Allah. Ta'atillah. <coughs> because those silent, deceased inhabitants of the graves, sabbaqana, they preceded us. They came before us. All of us are going to go in those graves. All of us are going to die. Every soul will taste death. So we need to prepare now and make dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember death. So Abi Darda radiallahu ta'ala and being a companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een the best of this ummah, the heads of the Salaf of Saleh, he used to sit at the grave to remind him of death and sit with the people, meaning the deceased, looking at their, their graves, contemplating his own <coughs> death and that to remind him that he's going to be in there soon. And then he said also, these people, they remind him of, of death of the true abode because your deeds stopped then, except for three as we mentioned. And he said, and if I don't go to those graves, if I miss my, my normal sitting to contemplate and reflect, the inhabitants of the graves won't bite, backbite me. But in the dunya, often if we are absent from a gathering, unless it's from Ahlul Fadl and even sometimes even in those gatherings someone perhaps will backbite you and more often than not 
people backbite us and we backbite them because it's a negative a part of our inclination and it takes restraining and restricting ourselves to not indulge in backbiting and slander and namima carrying wickedness wicked tales around the community so we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those who remember death often but not having it forced upon us but that Allah favors us to be of the Vakirin wa Vakirat the believing, remembering men and women who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and remember death often. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.